What's good YouTube? KM888 here again with a POU match. Um, again, for, just from the Smogon server, and I'm going to use the same team as last time. I use this team a lot since I'm actually testing it out for a tournament I'm going to participate in. I'll be posting those battles soon, as soon as I have them, of course. So, yeah. Now, for this battle, I'm going to do a little team preview from my own. Um, I'm using my same team, like, like I just said, and my opponent is using actually a pretty good OU team. He has an Infernape, a Salamence, Reuniclus, Rotom W, Ferrothorn, and a Gyarados. I have some ideas about some sets, so let's see how this all plays out. I'm going to start the narrating at slow again, and let's play it. Yeah, so my opponent is going to lead with his Infernape. Um, I'm going to predict a close combat right here and stay into Hydro Pump. He U-turns from the bat and goes straight into his Rotom W. Um, yeah, Hydro Pump misses, but that doesn't really matter, I think. Um, going into my Shaman to take any Volt Switch shenanigans he wants to pull at me. And he actually goes into his Infernape again, so... Yeah, it kinda screws me a bit over, but I'm going into my Tentacruel to stop those Volt turning things, and yeah. Um, go straight into his Rotom again. I protect to see what he's going to do, because I suspect his Specs or Scarf, something like that. And yeah, he goes. He actually goes for the Hidden Power. I think it's Hidden Power Fire, predicting my Shaman to come back in. Um, now that I know this, it's pretty easy to get off a Scald or a Toxic, anything I want to do. But he uses his Ferrothorn to block it. Um, here I just try to get a burn. Ferrothorn is a real bitch to my team, and yeah, burning Ferrothorn is one of my top priorities. I don't want to hit it with a thunder from my Urachi or something, because if I paralyze it, it's going to be much harder to take out. Now, here is Reuniclus comes in, and I'm actually a bit afraid of the Psychic move, so I switch out to my Urachi, uh, Special Defensive, so it should be able to take quite anything. And here I'm going to try to flinch that Reuniclus to death, because it's a real threat at plus one. Focus Blast did 40% to a special defense for Yorachi, so I'm kind of scared. And here I actually get the flinch, so that's really good. And here I was thinking, hey, if Iron Head does 20%, U-Turn should kill it, right? <laughs> Wrong. Damn, that sucked. Um, I go into Skarmory, because I obviously predict to recover, and I'm just going to try and whirlwind it out, since, yeah, since Yorachi isn't in. It could sweep my team at this point, but he goes for a Psy Shock, maybe predicting my Tentacruel or something to come in, but yeah, I whirl I whirlwind it out. Here I see the Gyarados, and I think maybe it's a DD set, so I'm going to whirlwind again, but he actually T-waves me, and I get paralyzed. Now that I see the T-wave, I'm not really worried about this Gyarados anymore, because I know it's a bulky set, and I just go for the Stealth Rock, predicting the Dragon Tail, which he does, and he... Phases my Skarmory out straight into my Palitos. Um, he goes for the Waterfall, does 24%, but it's not enough to let. don't let me do my Toxic. And yeah, it's all good. And uh, here he calls back his Gyarados, and I'm going for the rest with the Chesto Berry, so that's all good. Fi all fine and dandy. Um, Rodan W, once again, is on the field, and I'm just going to switch straight into my Shaman. A very good... Volturn counter, except where the U-turning is coming from a bandit scissor. Shaman gets one hit KO by that. Um, so yeah. Now Salamence comes in and I don't really know what to do. Um, I predicted Fire Blast right here, since he could be mixed, but he goes straight for the outrage. Don't predicting anything. And I'm going to my Rachi, uh, because I simply know that I can take it pretty easily, and I'm going to try and Paralyze it with my Thunder. Um, doesn't work out because he switches out. But he switches in his Gyarados, which is going to get wrecked by the tux by the Thunder. <laughs> no more Gyarados, no more, no more phasing, so that's all fine, all good. And yeah. Um, he c now Infernip comes back in, and I know my Tentacruel walls that thing for ages, so I'm going to switch it just in while he goes for the Overheat. Doesn't do anything and yeah it's all good um what do i predict here again um he goes for the u-turn i think i rapid spin here to get those stealth rocks away um his reuniclus comes in and yeah i do go for the rapid spin if i went for skulls two times in a row i 
could have taken that Reuniclus out right here, right now, but yeah, it was too dangerous. Um, he goes for the Focus Blast while switching my Rachi, it misses. Very good, because else my Rachi would have been in deep problems. Um, and here I go for the Wish, um, just trying to heal up. I know Rodan can't do really much to my Rachi, so I go for the Thunder, and he goes for the Hydro Pump and he kills me. So that's like, oh fuck, that specs. Um, I didn't predict that, and yeah, my Rashi goes down, so that's actually a bad thing, because I can't wall some things anymore. Um, and here I go for the Aromatherapy, because I believe my Skarmory was um, yeah paralyzed, and that isn't good against most of his guys. Um, Infernape again, same thing as last time, Tentacruel. Um, and here I... I actually think his Salamence is carved, it should be, um, I go for the Protect, scout what he's going to do, and he goes for the Outrage, so I simply switch out straight into my Skarmory, because it can take any Outrage from Salamence, any day, all day, and like you can see, it only does a 20%, so that's really good, he can't even crit me to that, so I'm just going to Roost off, Safe, safest thing here to do, and yeah, that's what Skarmory does best. Walling the shit out of Outrages. Now, he uh, was confused, so he's obviously going to switch out, and I just go for the Whirlwind, predicting that switch, to get some more Stealth Rock damage, and it works pretty fine, because I phase him into his Infernape, which my Tentacruel can wall all day, and yeah, he gets some more Stealth Rock damage, some more Life Orb damage, and now he's at a point where he can't switch out again, so he's just going to keep on attacking my Tentacruel. And I don't want to take a big hit with my Tentacruel, because yeah, it's the thing that I really need in this battle. Uh, sp basically to burn his Ferrothorn with and anything, so I'm just going to sacrifice my Polytoad, who is pretty useless at this point, and the Live Orb will take Infernape down, so that's all good. Um, at this point it's 4-4, four, four, so... It's a pretty close battle, and <laughs> his Reuniclus comes back in, and I'm just like, why didn't that thing die to my Rachi? It, it, it's just such a big problem. I go for the Skull to see how much it does, and like you saw, it did 31%, so last time if I went for two Skulls, it would have died. Um, <laughs> that just ain't good. Um, here's Psyshock, 12%, and... I just go for the Braver to see how much it does, but then he goes for the Focus Blast and it does a crap ton to my Skarmory. 57% and he gets a special defense drop. Um, since I'm also faster, I can't go for the Roost because then I'm pure steel and it will do double the damage, so it will one hit KO me. Um, so that ain't good. Um, here I go straight into my Tentacruel. I switch out immediately to my Doctrio, predicting him to go for the Recover. But he actually goes for the Psyshock, which is pretty bad for me. Um, here I go for the Earthquake, because <laughs> I hoped it would have done more, but it didn't. And I'm just glad it didn't go for the Recover, because then I would be screwed. Um, and here I just go for the Skull to finish the Reuniclus off. I'm really happy that that thing is out of the way. Now the score is 3-3, I still have my Tentacruel, which is awesome. And yeah. Uh, since I know his Rotom is Specs, I'm going to protect, but he gets paralyzed, so I still don't know what he's going to do. And I'm just going for the Skull, because I don't have anything that wants to take a hit from that Rotom. Um, he gets paralyzed again, so really lucky, and I get to take that thing out with my Tentacruel. How many times do you see a Tentacruel taking out a Rotom? <laughs> Now uh, Salamence comes in, and he goes for the Outrage, does a, cr a crap ton to my Tentacruel, and yeah, that wasn't good. He stays alive with 1% and I'm like, no, crap, that ain't good. Um, I just go for the Protect to give my Tentacruel some more HP, because I will need him for his Ferrothorn. Um, my Shaming could handle Ferrothorn, but not as well as Tentacruel, because it can get a burn. Um, here I actually hope to take things better, I think. Maybe with Leftovers that I could take it, but yeah, those two Outragers kill off my Skarmory. Finally, I hit things, um, and I'm just going into my Shaman for that last turn of Outrage, so he gets confused. Um, now I'm just praying for some Hex, and yeah, I do get it. Um, I protect here, and he does get com hitting Confusion, and he's gonna 
die. <laughs> Pretty good for me, so now it's one on one, Tentacruel versus Ferrothorn. A Ferrothorn on almost full health and a Tentacruel at 61%. Not very good because Power Whip does a ton. <laughs> um, like you can see here, it did 37%. Enough to 2 hit KO my Tentacruel with some luck, um, but yeah, I'm just going for the Protect to get some more HP. Hope, Really hoping to get a burn this time, I didn't get it on the Ferrothorn for like 3 or 4 times already, so I'm just praying to get it re right here, and I go for the Skull, and what you know, I get the burn, and now his Power Whips aren't going to do jack shit to my Tentacruel, only about... 18 or 20 percent or something something on those lines and yeah he leech seeds me and I don't lie so I'm just going to spin that away um, he goes for the power whip and it indeed does 20 percent um, I do realize I can stall him out here as long as he doesn't get a crit so I'm going to fast this to speed this bar up a bit and yeah it's not so much sped up but yeah um, you see clearly here all the same things happen over and over I just keep protect stalling him um, his power whips aren't doing a lot anymore and I'm eventually going to stall him out yeah that's basically it so to all of you uh, like this video it helps the video to get noticed uh, comment and subscribe maybe it will all make me very happy um, especially since I'm a beginner here. Now for the tournament, um, I'm going to give a bit of information already, so you know what's going to come up. Um, I'm going to have to do four battles in the preliminaries, and if I, if I hit the first or the second place, I can move on to the finals, so I hope to get that, so I can at least post seven or eight battles maybe. Um, so yeah, uh, that was it. Um, remember, comment, rate, subscribe, hit that thumbs button to like it. Um, yeah, and good day, YouTube. <laughs>